Well, folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. And it looks like it's going to be the opposite of what it was last weekend, where Saturday was halfway decent and Sunday was really blowing. It looks like Saturday's gonna blow pretty decent and Sunday's supposed to lay down a little bit. Unfortunately, as we all know, gag season has closed. Um, that's still a kind of a shocking thing to me. There's been a lot of stuff going back and forth, people saying this, people saying that, but you know, they're saying that there's only 20% of males versus females in the Gulf, and I just don't understand where they can get that science from. And, but anyway, that's a long story short, that it's just, it, it stinks that the gags are closed. It really limits to what you're going after offshore. You're pretty much stuck with um, you know, any kind of snapper, hogfish, mangrove snapper, yellowtail snapper. So we're really gonna change our tactics of what we do. And that's the, that's the key thing is if you're going to go offshore, if you're looking for food fish, you're really gonna have to kind of change your tactics and do some things differently. Like tomorrow, I will not focus on catching pinfish. I will focus on catching white bait and I'll catch pinfish, but I'm not gonna be focused on catching really big pinfish simply because uh, those are more geared for the grouper. So, you know, the, I saw that the grouper bite, the gag grouper bite inside the bay was absolutely insane the last couple of days before the season closed. So it's just, so, it's so sad that we, we were having to, to deal with this. But anyways, hopefully there's a, there's a way we can start rectifying these things, but it, that's a long shot in my eyes. Let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast, talk about what we have in store for this weekend when it comes to tides, lunars, and the weather. On Saturday, we have a high tide at 428 a.m. at a 2.7 foot. Then we have a low tide at 2 p.m. at a 0 0.2 foot. On Sunday, we have a high tide at 548 a.m. at a 2.5 foot. Then we have a low tide at 3.13 p.m. at a 0 0.3 foot. For the salooners, we have a major feeding time from 5.55 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 1.46 p.m. to 2.46 p.m. Then we have another major from 6.28 p.m. to 8.28 p.m. On Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 6.52 a.m. to 8.52 a.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 2.35 p.m. to 3.35 p.m. And then we have another major from 7.26 to 9.26 p.m. So those are the tides and salooners for this weekend. As I stated, it looks like Sunday is gonna be a lot windier than Sunday. It looks like it's gonna be beautiful weather as we've had the last week has been absolutely beautiful. Low humidity, cooler temperatures. It should really get these fish chewing. And I know that they were chewing pretty good right as the front was coming in. If you're concentrating on inshore fish, I've heard some of the fish are making their way towards their fall haunts. So I would be, if you're looking for the snook, redfish, and trout, that's kind of what I would be looking at is the, those transition areas. Now with it warming back up and staying somewhat warm for a while, they'll be stuck in that transition. So it's, they're moving and you just gotta, you gotta watch your surroundings, watch the mullet, watch the birds, things like that. So if you're focusing on inshore, definitely pay attention to the surroundings. That's gonna tell you where these fish are gonna start staging up. Again, as far as I said, offshore, uh, you know, there's, there's limited things that you can target, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And you adjust your fishing to that. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, I stated in the last Friday fishing forecast, I apologize. Um, last weekend, the bite was absolutely horrible. We don't know if it was the salooner eclipse or what was going on, but the bite was, we came back with one flounder and one hogfish. We lost some decent grouper and we caught some decent red grouper, but overall we lost uh, some nice fish, but the bite just was tough and it was a lot rougher than what they said it was gonna be. Of course, that's just the way it goes. But we have a lot of big things coming. Again, thank you so much for all of the support. We're trying to work as fast as we can. I say that all the time, but we're, we're, we're getting there. Um, we've got some big things in the work works that I won't announce until after the 1st of November. And uh, when we finalize everything, and then there's some other things that we're working on that's going to be a game changer when it comes to looking at the bottom, especially offshore. When you're going offshore, there's some new technology that's coming out that I'm really, really, really excited about. Had a meeting last night with a gentleman 
and um, like like minds, which I really like. Uh, wonderful guy, great product, and the people that I have kind of given a preview to, their jaws dropped to the floor. So just just wait. It's it's going to be coming out very soon, and when this thing gets to the upper upper levels of what he wants to do and how he wants to lay these things out in this on this program I'm just going to call um, it's going to be incredible it, you're going to be able to go out eventually not right now but eventually go out and pick an area and it will come up and you can keep a log and say okay I caught hogfish this time of year the weather was doing this 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 that's in the farther reaches of this program but he's going to do a soft launch and I tell you what right now it's going to be a game changer so look out for that Again, I just want to say thank you for all the support. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.